Hello, hello, hello everyone. Good day. Hope you're having a beautiful day today. It is always a beautiful day, right? Because it is the day we are in. We are living and breathing in. And for that, it is such a gift. Super grateful to be on this audio with you. It's a short one today and hopefully um, just helpful for all those uh other, all those women out there that might be considering coming to awaken and empower a mothers and daughters event on March 5th from 2 to 5 30 at the sanctuary La Lodera sanctuary um, beautiful three acre um, piece of land really warm inviting highly vegetative um, beautiful energy there been doing events there and workshops and classes and seminars for many years and it has a very inviting um, um, and presence that it it offers and so that's the space we'll be in and yes um, this workshop is um, being facilitated by myself I'm a spiritual teacher healer and guide and alongside Nancy O'Reilly Dr. Nancy O'Reilly clinical psychologist and women's empowerment leader for the last I think gosh, 35 years or more, I think she's been touring around the world, um, offering uh, workshops and uh, speaking engagements to help bring in women into a greater sense of empowerment within their being. And um, between myself and her, who have been working with women for quite some time in our lives, myself included, been doing lots of women facilitation, facilitation for men and women, specifically lots of goddess work and really helping um, in this workshop to um, dive deep into the wounding, if not just residual energy, trauma, drama, pain, limiting patterns that we might have picked up from that initial relationship with the first pivotal woman in our life, which would be our mothers. We all have had a mother (laughs) and we get a lot of impressions and imprints from that relationship and it's kind of that whole, you know, I'm, I'm never going to be like my mom and I'll never do that. And so we, we want to help clear out all the attachments to being like mom or any aversions to not being like mom, right? Just getting to be who we truly are and really being grateful for choosing. Yep, that's right. We chose our mother for a reason. And why is that? Why would we have ever chosen our mothers? What are the beautiful soul lessons that we're here to learn by choosing the mother that we've chosen? And let's dive into that as well. So also this can help to heal and clear any density around um, obscurations in consciousness around leading and living from your divine feminine essence into the conscious feminine, awake and aware of all energy dynamics comprehensively in the world. So we're no longer fed upon by kind of external energies or that we're giving more or doing more or trying to be more, uh, trying to appear great and beautiful and never age, um, trying to get approved of, to feel worthy in this world by not only from the world at large, but specifically the masculine. Um, That also can come from these imprints. So the parental wounding of mother and father are crucial to heal. Because from that, it's like this these powerful, beautiful doors open, which allow who we truly are to shine forth. Any of that density simply is that it's like uh, cobwebs or, or dust that settles upon our light. And when it's moved out, who we truly are, the shining expression of our soul can come forward. And a lot of that wounding with mom and dad typically can feel pretty heavy. And sometimes we can feel a little bit challenged to move that energy out because there is such deep pain that can be stored there. Sometimes feeling a little lost, how to even let it go. And sometimes we can even give up and be like, well, I guess that relationship's never going to be, you know, a healthy one. So this workshop is not only for mothers who have mothers that are living. They're for mothers that um, are for daughters that have um, mothers that are living or that, that possibly have passed or for daughters that want to bring their mamas in, or mamas that want to bring their daughters in to the workshop. Um, It's not a requirement for you to bring a mother or a daughter into the workshop. You can simply just be with your beautiful soul and and work with the maternal um, initial imprint of the mothering energy, 
which also can be beneficial because as we clear that out, if you are a mother or you're wanting to be a mother or choosing to be a mother at a later timeline, this can help to clear so much of that density out of the way so that you can really feel um, empowered in your mothering capacity and feel uplifted by it and feel joy in it and feel kind of excited about it. Because sometimes, as you've heard, sometimes mamas can feel kind of... um, that is de-energizing and, and depleting and, and sometimes they can even feel a lack of joy in that experience. So let us help you within this workshop that we're moving into to help move out all of that density as much as ready that is ready to be moved out and to really find ourselves heal, healed and cleared of this energy in a greater capacity than when we walked in the door. You're going to be moving into a compassionate, loving space of women that are kind, caring, receptive, and there to do the good inner work too. So the space itself is also just really beautiful for that. And um, the energy that we call in is that it's compassionate, it's open, it's receptive. And for women, as we know, sometimes we can feel like women are more competitive. It's We're not as supportive with one another. So that's also looked at within this workshop. Why is that so? And could that be coming from that initial imprint of our experience with our own mothers so it could be really wonderful to have your mama there too and or if you have your your daughter can come that's super beautiful and again not a necessity so thank you very much for hearing this audio today if you have any questions comments concerns please reach out and we will certainly answer those for you and have a blessed day and thank you so very much and talk to you soon and hope to see you soon okay bye-bye